Hello, welcome to another installment of IT Fondi. Uh, it's nice to have you on. Uh, today we'll be uh, looking at a bit more of uh, Google AI Studio. The other time uh, I gave an intro video about it, uh, got some views concerning that, and I just learned something very interesting recently that uh, you can actually have your API key um, integrated in one of your um, in one of your IDEs. So like I had showed you uh, a while back, uh, you could, you're able to prompt, for example, if you're working on an app, you're able to choose uh, some different language models as you're playing around with it. I hope, uh, let's just see if that loads up. Yeah, so basically you're able to prompt, uh, like you can see right here, different models. So this is Windsurf in particular, but uh, what I have also been experimenting with another IDE which is also similar to VS Code and it's known as uh, CASA. It's uh, also, um, you can read about that. I, I also made a video about it. So uh, CASA is, what, is an IDE that you can also use for your coding, but you can also see uh, there are models that are available to you um, by default, but also the others that can be enabled. And as you'll see, I'll, I'll show you in a bit, you can integrate an API key for OpenAI, Anthropic, uh, Google API, and this is what we are, we are going to play with today, and also for Azure. So before we go to that, navigate to your Google AI Studio, and once you're there, you will be presented with this page, and on this page, uh, you're able to go directly to um, gen get an API key. So when you you get the uh, when you reach this page, you just press create, copy, and save it somewhere safe. Uh, it's a one-time view, so you won't be able to see it again. And once you're done, you'll go to your, mach uh, your machine in the terminal, and then you run this. Just make sure to replace that with your API key, and of course, you'll get a response. Uh, please don't share this in public, as it's uh, linked to your account, and other people can use it. Um, what are you able to do? It, uh, once you integrate this, still testing this out, uh, make another follow-up video maybe for that can let me know in case you want that and uh, you can see uh, the kinds of uh, agents you have and uh, basically w once you enable this and it's fixed very well you're able to play with Google API I mean Google la large language models as we're going to see so once you create uh, once you create this API key you can go to so it's free and uh, I will show you of course those are the last digits of my API key but you'll see um, this tab, this this bit, uh, this link right here, where you can go to uh, Google, Google Cloud, and uh, there you can see the usage of of, of the of your of the, uh, the API key that you have. So so far as before this video started, been making like five requests, and it shows you the latency and some other information there. The other bit of uh, the bit I loved is the uh, is the system. Uh, limits and quarters and here you see the some of the models that you're presented with of course they put it like in dimensions but you can see how much you have you have really a lot of tokens that you can play with and uh, yeah it's mostly for exploration um, Google AI studio basically also has very powerful things that you can look at but it's very I just wanted to show you that you can actually add it and I'll make a follow-up video on that on how to basically integrate it, or showing you how to add the, to generate the API key and add it to your CASA. How to install CASA? Of course, uh, we are living in an age of AI. Just ask ChatGPT. But if you want me to do that for you, uh, kindly hit it in the comments. I can make uh, a video concerning that. Yeah, it's been a quick update. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, subscribe, like, uh, share the videos, and let's make this channel grow. Ciao.